internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, magicbrad.com. And I've got a new friend on the line. His name is Greg, and is it Jameson? It is. I did it's well. Like Good. I don't know. I don't drink anymore. I gave it up about 20 years ago. But I've heard of it. Jameson, is it whiskey? Yeah, Jameson whiskey. Is that, is that a family? I don't drink it either. Is that a family business? <laughs> no. Just, just the name. <laughs> where, where are you located? Uh, just south of Denver, Colorado. Okay, that's a nice area, like Den uh, Colorado Springs, maybe, kind of. Uh, about halfway in between. Got I've a little place out in the middle of the pine trees called Franktown. Nice. I've driven past that area, I'm sure, on the way out to like Santa Fe and stuff. I like Denver, Mile High City. Yeah, it's great. So um, if you haven't seen these videos, what I do is I do them kind of quick because time is a commodity. With, we've all got the same exact amount and you can't get it back when it's gone. So I kind of condense this just to get to know who you are, what you do and all that kind of thing. And then we'll propagate it out synergistically and let the world know. And who knows what happens from then. So are you married, got kids, single? What's the story on your... I have been married for 37 years. Woo! Uh, be 38 this year. Uh, we have four kids. They're all growing and scattered all across the country. From <laughs> New York to California. <laughs> How old? Like, like, because you don't look uh, that old. Tw Twenty-four to thirty-four. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sixty. I don't have any of them. <laughs> We're the exact same age. Yeah. Well, you've been busy. <laughs> I just don't like the responsibility because I know there's a lot to it. My wife's got one, and he's grown, but. When he was younger, it was a bit of a challenge. <laughs> well, fortunately, all of ours did really well and are doing really well. So That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Don't have to go bail them out of jail or anything like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what you do, you're in the uh, web development uh, marketing element of things, correct? Yes, I've been doing, been building e-commerce websites since 1995. Wow. Uh, before there were really any shopping cart systems out there. So I actually wrote my own to do wholesale shopping carts for people that were uh, selling to retail businesses and uh, kind of ran with that software for, I guess, uh, probably 10 years. And then other shopping cart softwares have started to appear, many of which have big development teams and so forth. And so now we utilize a whole variety of different shopping carts. But the real focus of the business, you know, getting a shopping cart up there is just the start of it. The real focus of it is, okay, now that you're selling stuff online, how can we help you sell more of that? Right. Yeah, I like to use like real life analogies. So it would be kind of like you can start your own retail store, so you buy a cash register. Now what? Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you get, you got to get them in. And it's really different. I mean, uh, these days everybody's everywhere. So it's really hard to find them. And unless you really narrow down on your niche, like you find people that like, uh, like poodles and they're in the, a certain zip code, you got to target that. And, and maybe you want to niche it down to females that like poodles. And now you can kind of find those people, but these, these people that are trying to reach everybody, it's like reaching nobody. It, you know, that's one of the single biggest things that I tell people all the time is you want to become the go-to authority in your business and to do that you have to have a really narrow niche that you are concentrating on mm -hmm. even if you are uh, for example i've actually got a customer that is a swimwear shop and he sells absolutely everything related to swimming and i keep telling him you know you need to narrow your focus his real core competency is competitive swimming right and so it's like let, let's just focus on competitive swimming and you may pick up some sales of people that are going on vacation or recreational swimmers and stuff, right but but the fact that you are the go-to authority for competitive swimming in this area makes you unique because because a, a cons competitive swimming suit is gonna be a lot different than a bikini for a bikini contest right yeah <laughs> a lot different feel yeah a lot of people don't realize that like i knew some people that were doing like the network marketing stuff for like a skin type thing. And I said, who's your customer? I go, everybody, everybody's got skin, but good <laughs> luck trying to reach everybody. Right. Yeah. That's, you, you really do have to narrow down and 
be the go-to do, authority. Do you help people with like this, their SEO and that kind of thing too to help them find that specific niche? You know, it's interesting. Uh, I actually just did a survey uh, the last few days asking people what their biggest uh, issues were with their website. And by far and away, the number one answer was SEO, which I find that surprising that people still think that SEO is the way that people are going to find them. People are mm -hmm. going to find them because you are an expert in an industry. You're out there blogging. You're out there posting on social media. Right. You are creating podcasts. You're, you're creating content in general. And that content is what people are going to start following you. And because you have all of that, that will improve your search engine results, but it's not, people seem to have it backwards. They think, oh, if I can just get listed on page one of Google, right. I'm going to have it made. Now, it's, that's not it that's interesting. You and I are on the very same page with that because some people preach SEO, SEO, and, and I'm thinking, okay, you're on the first page of Google, but then your competition, which is, you know, could be thousands of people, now they're on the first page of Google and you're on the second page of Google. So it's like, a, and then Google all of a sudden changes the algorithms and now you're nowhere. So exactly. I think you're right. You, you build your own tribe, your own vibe, your own content that people are following sincerely and genuinely, and then they'll find you, right? Yeah. Yeah. People seem Very cool. to have those two roles mixed up. <laughs> well, it, see, it sounds good. It's like early on in the dot-com industry that you're now going to be able to reach everybody in the world. And they thought that was the big deal. So everybody jumped into this whole dot-com thing and they found out the reality of it is, to me, it's, it used to be broadcasting. Now it's narrowcasting. How can you find, because how many customers do you need? Like a thousand? You don't need seven billion people on the planet. <laughs> right? And that's absolutely the case. And it seems interesting that people are still trying to reach the whole world and, and you simply don't need to do that. That's interesting. I'm doing some Facebook ads right now, and what I'm doing is I'm focusing in a 10-mile radius of where I live. Tighten it up. That way when I go to the grocery store, people recognize me. <laughs> it works, too. I, I, I do some videos on the, the freeway, and there's a big uh, mall on the freeway called Ridgedale. So I do videos near Ridgedale, and of course when people are driving down the freeway, they see Ridgedale, so they know that I'm a genuine, real person rather than some... 15 year old in Sri Lanka screwing on the internet, you know, <laughs> very cool. So how do you do your work? You, you work just local or do you work for anybody anywhere? They'll, they just find you and you help them out. You know, I actually do enough conventions and public speaking and so forth that I currently have customers from New York to California. Uh, about a third of them are local and two thirds of them are scattered elsewhere. Cool. So that that's cool. You're using the old school uh, belly to belly. They see you on the stage and they know you're genuine because like they had all that stuff with Twitter with all those fake profiles and stuff that just came out and people realized that likes don't pay the bills. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of funny. I was looking at this new email program the other day and they wanted to verify that I was a real person and not just somebody that was out there buying email lists. So they wanted to see my email opt in form on my page and say, where are you getting all of your email leads? And I was like, well, you can see the email opt-in form, but quite honestly, I get most of my leads from meeting people. Huh. Go, go to live events and shake their hands. That's true. That, that's why I do a lot of video like this, because this, this lets me know that you're actually a real person rather than that, that back-and-forth walkie-talkie kind of stuff. I, like if I, could, if I needed to find you right now, I could probably go down to Denver and start looking around, and I could find, the, is this the guy, you know? It's, it shows humanity and genuineness and sincerity. So I commend you, sir. <laughs> Showing <Thanks>. your face. <laughs> so do you have anything like, is that a book in the background? Yeah, the, so uh, up over here is my book on the bookshelf, which I actually have a copy of it here. I, I got a big poster of it uh, back here too. So uh, the, the influence. latest book is called The Influencer Effect. And Good. it's available at both... Uh, Paperback and hardcover, uh, audio version. Oh, you got uh, it you covered. Can get it on Audible as well. I've actually got a bunch of supporting materials that go with it. I uh, actually wrote a workbook that goes with it. Holy and smokes. 
I, I even have a game. Get out of here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, as people are trying to learn about influencer marketing, it's a great way to be interactive. Tell, tell me about the game. Platform. Well, there's actually two versions of it. Uh, one is that you play in front of a group of people, like if you're in a seminar or something. Uh -huh. And it that's kind of, I like to refer to it as a cross between uh, The Voice and Shark Tank. Cool. <laughs> people are doing some uh, things there. Then if I pull the cover off here, uh, it, there's also a board game version. And the board game... Uh, you know, oh, cool. That you move around on the... I love it. On, ...on the board and uh, answer questions. And again, uh, th there's some interaction type thing. But, you know, that that's if you've got, you know, two-day players type thing. That's cool. Did you kind of model Robert Kiyosaki with his cash flow game? You remember that one? I, I do remember <laughs> that, but uh, no, I actually got inspiration. I've got a, a friend that lives down in Phoenix. Uh, her name's uh, Kathy, and she. we were at this convention together, and all of these other uh, marketing types had their book with them, and Kathy didn't have a book. She brought a game, and I was like, how cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's the, exactly what we're talking about, separating you from everybody else, because everybody's got a freaking book now. And they're all the number yeah. one New York Times bestseller. But who's got a game? <laughs> exactly. I love it. That's very cool. It makes it more fun. <laughs> so tell us how to get a hold of you. And how, how do we find well, out the more? The simple way is just to go to gregjamison.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to webstoreslimited.com as well. That's kind of the site where I help people people build e-commerce sites, but uh, at gregjamison.com, you can get on to my blog there. You can get on my podcast. Perfect. And, uh, order my books, whatever. <laughs> Perfect. Well, that's very cool. I really uh, am happy that I connected with you. That's pretty cool. The, the, I love the game concept. It, it takes it back more into you know the real world, even if you, you could do it, an app or something, but I like the game, getting people around, and the whole concept of influencer, because I think that's the new thing, is, is if you can influence people, I think your, your marketing is going to be so much better, and using something like video like this is the way to do it. Very cool. So yeah, is, you actually, I was going to say, is there anything actually, else you can share with us? And then I'm going to kind of close this off, because I don't like to take too much time, but we can definitely do something else. And if you've got a new launch or something that you're going to show us some people, we could do a, do another one of these. Yeah, No, not, not a new launch right now. I, uh, actually building up my coaching clientele. So when you talked about people going to my website, they can go there and uh, find out how to get into either one of my group coaching programs or my private coaching programs. But you were talking about how you do in, uh, affiliate marketing as well, which is really kind of the original form of influencer marketing. And sure. It's, uh, to, to, to me, that is absolutely the way that people buy products online. It's uh, getting to be that way, kind of referrals and all that kind of stuff. And um, so let's see, I was going to say, do, do you have some kind of introductory kind of thing? Because sometimes people don't like to just invest in something. They like to try it out. Do you have like a toe dippers uh, opportunity where you can kind of get online and chat for free where people can get an idea how you work? Yep. Absolutely. Uh, there's actually a shortened link. It's a bit.ly slash coaching with Greg. And that gives you the opportunity to look at the different coaching programs that I have, including one there that offers a free session so that we have a chance to sit down for 20 or 30 minutes and chat and see cool. if it makes sense for you. Okay. Could you, um, in Facebook, send me those links and then I'll put them on this video and then I'll beam it up to YouTube and propagate it out on some blogs and we will uh, let the world know. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Hey, Greg, thanks very much for taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe. And uh, like I said, down the road, if there's something else you want to do this again, I love doing these kind of things and it helps to get the message out into the world. <laughs> Awesome. Appreciate it, Brad. Thank you, bud. Ciao. Okay. See you.